A poached egg, Guinness sausage, ham and baked beans, buttered white toast and the strongest tea from Ceylon. This is Ravi's breakfast menu for today. Breaking off a piece of the crust-free bread his mother buys day old from the Mill Hill Bakery School. The impeccably dressed young master wipes a yellow egg stain from the corner of his mouth. Still too bloody soft, Palin. Vijay stands by the kitchen table looking ridiculous in a brightly flowered apron. The egg, sir, or the toast? The egg, you ponce! Binda grins as she stirs her tea with a long stick of cinnamon. Knows that her son is just getting warmed up. How many times have I told you how we poach our eggs here in the new world? Many, many times, Sahib. Sahib, my ass! Ravi pushes his plate away. Only three years older than Vijay, his bad temper is increasing with age. This is not some godforsaken land where eggs spill from their shells and fry before they even hit the ground. This is not fucking India, you know. Pinda looks up from her hand in Finchley Times. Ravi, please. I'm sorry, mother, but it's his fault I lose my temper like I do. He adjusts the serviette protecting his handsome off-grey business suit. Vijay is used by now to Ravi's verbal and physical attacks. Readily submits. It, it is all my fault, sir. My fault. My fault. My fault. Ravi covers his ears. Make him stop. One could describe Ravi's feelings towards Vijay as ranging from highly unfriendly to borderline homicidal. Vijay's behaviour around Ravi has become, in the nearly four months since his arrival, like that of a chronically mistreated pet. His movements are jerky, erratic, adding to the uneasy smell of fear inside this house. It would not be difficult for a rational person, on viewing this domestic scene even a single time, to presume that multiple physical blows and verbal threats have regularly been rained down upon this transplanted villager. These acts of violence have become everyday occurrences, varied only by the element of surprise and by their degree of severity. Ravi wheels around from the kitchen table, looks Vijay up and down. What is this thing here, this wretched specimen in front of me? Vijay dutifully prostrates himself before young Ravi. Only myself, Sahib, only Vijay. He prays silently to not be hit again. Stand up, Ravi demands, grabbing Vijay by his scrawny arm. Where do you think you are, some chicken-scratching farmyard back in Chennai? Vijay responds politely in the tongue of his new masters with which his keen ear has rapidly become more familiar. I am not from Chennai, Mr. Ravi, as I have told you many times before. I am from the village of Chetipattu, some 200 kilometres in the southwest. I don't give two shites where you're from, you cheeky bastard. Binda continues scissoring Marks and Spencer discount coupons from the local paper. Keeps her keen eye on the proceedings. You are here in England now, Ravi shouts, and you will poach eggs like I bloody well tell you to. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Ravi. Most clear.